everyone. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about the blind contour drawing. Contour simply means outline. The outline of an object you are drawing. Blind contour drawing is where the artist draw the contour of a subject without looking at his drawing. The artist fixates his eyes on the outline of the model or the subject and tracks the edge of the subject with his eyes while simultaneously drawing the contour very slowly in a steady, continuous line without lifting the pencil or looking at the paper. Contour drawing is a technique used by art teachers to help you to focus your vision on one point on the object's outline so you don't jump around the image that you're drawing. One of the obstacles beginner artists face is being unable to keep their eyes on one place before moving to another part of the drawing. They keep jumping all around the object they are working on before finishing drawing that specific area. This usually results in a chaotic drawing that feels rushed and blurry. Contour drawing will help you force your eyes to stick to one location, draw it, then move on to the next. It's basically building discipline and focus while strengthening your hand-eye coordination skill level. As a beginner, you need to do this a lot. I remember when I first started drawing, I did this for a whole sketchbook. You will see improvement very fast the more you do it. Once you master it, you will never go back to the way you drew before. Actually, you won't even remember how you used to draw before you did this exercise. So in a nutshell, this exercise is imagining that you have your pencil on the object itself, touching the contour of the model. Then move slowly, and I mean very slowly, with the edge to wherever it leads you. Don't remove the tip of your pencil off the page no matter what. Keep it going and keep it continuous for at least 10 to 15 minutes until you finish the drawing. Remember that the end goal here is to learn the technique you're gonna need later. So it's not meant to produce good images or drawing that you, you can post on social media. This is not the point of this exercise. They are not supposed to look good or correct. You have to fight the urge to look at your drawing before the 10 to 15 minute period is done. You need to keep your eye the whole time on the object itself. Once you're done, move on to the next drawing. If the image you drew look perfect, that means you did something wrong. This whole thing is just to see how much you can focus on the line without getting distracted. I mentioned this in the first video of the series that the difference between the artist vision and the new beginner vision is how focused the artist is while drawing. As you can see in this example, the artist focus in one area till it's done before going to the next while the beginner is all over the place. This exercise is what shifts your vision from chaotic one to a more focused one. Now as always, I like to start this exercise in steps and always from easy to hard. So before we even start with the blind contour exercise, let's first do it as tracing. This is like a prequel to the exercise itself. This is the same concept of blind contour but on the subject itself. I want you to feel the outline of the subject as you trace it by keeping your eyes on the outline the whole time. This is the first step of this exercise. And later, we will simply move the object away from your drawing and do the same thing. So we will start with tracing the first image. What you're seeing now is the real speed that I'm drawing in. But after that, I will speed up the video to five times. So the video doesn't go on for so long. The original video length is about one hour, but I will speed it up to around 10 minutes. So keep that in mind that this is not a fast exercise. You should take it really slow. Now, for the first one, choose a very easy subject with as few lines as possible. Cartoons are the best candidate for the start since they are not really complicated. So if you are doing this traditionally, use a tracing paper and put it on top of your subject and start from one point and do not lift your pencil until you are done at the same point. Focus and take your time here. Make sure you follow the line exactly and don't jump from one point to another. Keep the line continuous even if you have to trace back to the same line you drew before. Your eyes should be at the exact location as your pen or your pencil tip. But you should be focusing on the line itself, not the pencil. Make sure your eye, hand and mind are working in unison. Again, take your time and be patient with yourself. This should be one of many, many more drawings that you have to do. It's like exercising a muscle that you never used before. So it's not going to be perfect from the first attempt. It will take a lot of trials to make it good enough. Once you are done from the first trial, 
get another tracing paper and do it again and again till you feel that you are getting the hang of it if it doesn't look good that's fine it's not the goal here it's just training as you can see i did it three times you should go for more if you can and after that you can compare your drawing side by side and see where was your line following the subject the best and where you got distracted and veered away from the correct path okay now let's trace something a bit more complicated this one is a bit tricky because we are in a realistic territory here but it's still a drawing not a photo even though this is a simple tracing adding an image that you already know or have a memory of will make the focusing on simple lines a bit more tricky the whole idea here is to shut down your logical mind and prevent it from completing the image for you it's still easier to do as tracing but it will be more tricky once you do it blindly just like we saw it back in the previous video of uh, drawing upside down we were also fighting the urge to flip your head upside down and to see the real orientation of the image but in this one you will be fighting the urge to skip forward and draw it faster fight that urge draw it slowly and carefully so you will be able to stay on the line and take it as slow as possible once you've done it once go on and do it more till you get better at it compare your drawings when you're finished by the quality of the line not the quality of the drawing as i mentioned many times before the final product is not the focus here okay now this is the top tire when it comes to complication it's no longer a drawing but a photo which will be a lot more challenging but feel not this is the same process start from one point and go forward there is no defined lines here so focus on the form lines and keep the pen glued to the paper try to add as much lines as possible to define the drawing and keep it continuous once you're finished do it over and over till you feel comfortable doing it I'm not gonna do it another time because it's taken a lot of time to do this and we need to go to the actual exercise this is just a prequel as I said but you keep practicing over and over till you are comfortable with tracing before we go to the next step okay I'm gonna use the same example we traced before for the first blind contour drawing now you can see the example here while I'm drawing but in the real life the example was on the second screen away from my drawing so I wasn't even able to see the drawing while I'm doing this so if you are doing this traditionally with a pen and paper make sure the drawing is far away from your paper so you don't accidentally see what you are drawing fight the urge to look at your drawing till the timer you set ends and yes all the 10 minutes or the 15 minutes you set will feel like an eternity just take it slow and enjoy your time and as you can see it won't, it won't look pretty or good I even hit the border here but that's okay my eyes were glued to the reference image the whole time once you're done do it over and over and you will see the different result every time if your drawing looks good it means you're locked and you're doing this wrong start over and do it the correct way now we go back to the elephant going up in the difficult scale here Trying to do this blindly gonna be tricky, but stick to it and focus on the lines. When you do this a lot and then go back to your normal drawing, you're gonna see a shift in the way you draw. You will be much more focused on your drawings. If you do this at least for a year, you're gonna see a big difference. Do 30 minutes of this every morning before you start your normal drawing and you will see the change happen very soon. Now I'm done with the first, let's do it again and again till we get better at it. When I compare the three, none looks like the original, but the lines are sharp and focused, which is something you need to be careful of. 
don't go back and forth with scratchy lines keep it moving you made a mistake it's okay keep it moving okay now the hard reference i'm gonna do a portrait without looking at it so the results are obviously not gonna be good again the actual image is not next to my drawing so i can't see what i'm drawing right now it's a lot more tricky when you don't see the actual lines and that's why trying photo reference is important to do because everything you're gonna draw later will be from photos or real life and there is no lines in real life try to follow the lines of the form closely even if it means going from the face to the hand and back to the face and then to the hair the subject is not important it's all about the lines in my second trial i decided to start from another point of the image first one was from the eye this one is from the hand it's always good to start from different points so your drawing doesn't look repetitive and this way the result will look different every time you can keep on trying it as much as you want or try different reference it's up to you now before i wrap this video up i want to do another example but this time not from a photo but from real life this one is a bit tricky if you draw with your right hand look at your left and draw it in different position maybe holding different items maybe in different positions maybe in different light situation drawing from real life is like drawing from a 3d reference rather than a 2d image so when you draw the contour of your hand you will be following the lines in a 3d world which is a bit harder than a 2d image try different positions hold different items and keep practicing this will improve your drawings a lot Now for the last example of this video, I picked a chaotic mess of nature. So many lines, so many objects. This is something you need to do yourself. Pick harder and harder examples with so many lines to follow. And start from 5 minute drawings to 10 minute, 15 to even a 60 minute drawings. As I said before, once you do this a lot, you won't even remember how did you draw before this. It sounds crazy, but this method wipes out all your pre-drawing techniques and replaces it with a more focused, organic and systematic method that will carry you a long way in your journey. And with that done, this is the second exercise in a long list of exercises for beginners yet to come. I will post the examples in this video in a PDF file underneath this video in the description box if you want to try it yourself. But I encourage you to find your own examples to do so you don't follow exactly what I did in my drawing in this video. As for your homework, pick 5 different reference drawings or photos or real life and draw each one 5 times. You can start by first tracing it if you want and then going to the blind contour technique next or you can go right away to the blind contour if you want and if you are comfortable with it time yourself for five minutes up to 30 minutes or even an hour per drawing the longer you take the slower it will be and the more focused you will be well that's it for the lesson number three in the first book of the art journey this book of course is targeting new artists and beginners and as i mentioned there will be much more to come before i go i like to thank my patreons who donated to my channel if you like to donate please go to patreon slash rainwalker thank you all for your generosity stay tuned for more videos to come i will post more for the other books as well and the other series of this channel as soon as possible 
all right that's it for now thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next video